What's up guys? Today I'm going to be taking the gay test. Uh, I literally just googled gay test and clicked on the first link. So I've always wanted to take one of these tests. I've never actually taken one before. And while I've, while I've heard some things from my stream about my uh, sexuality, I thought that I would just go ahead and confirm it. Uh, so let's go ahead and start it off. Here we go. Uh, answer, answer all these questions honestly, big boy. Alrighty. Well, we'll actually answer them honestly. Um, I haven't taken this before. I literally just googled this shit and clicked on the link. So uh, let's let's pay attention. <clears throat> All right. Question number one. I paid blank for my last haircut. Um, okay. This is the honest truth, guys. Uh, my last haircut was sixty bucks. Uh, it was a while ago, but it was like sixty dollars. It was pretty expensive because. Uh, it was, uh, some lady that's, like, friends with my mom. Long story, it was 60 bucks, so over $40. There we go. <clears throat> Question number two, who makes the best messenger bag for men? Wow. Uh, I think this is a good sign, because I don't even really know what a messenger bag is, but, uh, should I answer that? I feel like that's gonna, that's gonna take away from my gayness if I say that. Well, we'll be honest, we'll actually say it. Fuck it. I have seen blank live musicals in the past year. I've seen one live musical in the past year. Uh, so we gotta put one to two. I'm not gonna tell you guys why, but uh, I've seen one that I know of. It might, yeah, one. One live musical. <clears throat> How many yards are at the end zones on a football field? What the fuck? I don't know anything about football at all. I only pay attention to the uniforms. That's actually true. Um... <clears throat> not really in a gay way, but when it comes to football, like all I really look at are the numbers of people because I don't know what what the I don't know anything else that's going on. Uh, so let's just go with that because it's the truth. I don't know anything else. I just look at the numbers and that's about it. <clears throat> uh, which of the following designers does not produce men's shoes? Uh, Manolo, Blahnik, Prada, Gucci, or Miu Miu? Well, the only one of these that I actually know is Gucci. Uh, and I have no fucking idea if they produce men's shoes or not. But let's just go with it. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, but fuck it. Uh, Barolo is a wine produced only in Piedmont, Tuscany, Bordeaux, or Gayville. Wow, is Gayville seriously an answer there? That's unreal. <clears throat> I have no idea, dude. Who, I, who drinks wine, man? I guess gay people drink wine and older people. I don't even know who drinks wine, dude. <clears throat> I guess if I were truly gay, I would like instantly know the answer to this. But we're gonna just go with Gayville because it just seems like the most logical answer there. <clears throat> uh, my cardio routine at the gym consists mainly of high-low aerobics, the elliptical machine, cycling classes, and the treadmill. This is actually an interesting question. Because the answer is a combination of two. Uh, it's a com For me, it's a combination of cycling classes, which I have taken, and the elliptical machine. Uh, which one should I do? Fuck, I don't even know. I'm probably going to go with cycling classes. It's kind of probably more of that than elliptical machines, but it's definitely a combination of two. So let's go with cycling, dude. All right, what's next on the list? Which of the fall careers has Carson Kressley most recently added to his resume? Fashion designer, author, Broadway producer, who? Um, I've heard of this guy, <clears throat> I think. I want to say he's a fashion designer. I think the name's familiar. I could be mixing him up with someone, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with A. <clears throat> I wish I had Brad Pitt's face. Brad Pitt's body, Brad Pitt's money, and Brad Pitt's wife. Where's option A, B, and C, dude? Like, this is such an unfair question. It really is. Like, this is not fair. I want everything, dude. I want his face, body, and money. I don't know who his wife is, so I don't really care about her. Uh, <clears throat> well, just based on this picture that we see on the right, I'm going to have to go with body. I mean, his face is pretty awesome as well. Money's also nice, but I can't, like... This isn't even really that gay, I don't think. I mean, he's just got an awesome body. Like, I don't know what else to say. <clears throat> so, if I were to, like, have only one of these, then I guess this would be the one. I am most likely to cry when all the below someone yells at me, someone breaks up with me, and someone dies. Hmm. I gotta think about this one for a second. 
someone yells at me, am I going to cry? Yes. If they yell, if they yell hard enough, someone breaks up with me, am I going to cry? <clears throat> yes. When someone dies, am I going to cry? Yes. I guess I just cry a lot. I'm going to have to go with option A, all of the below. Uh, who won season one of Project Run Runway? Jay McCarroll, Jeffrey, Sabelia, Harold, Dickbag, or No Clue? Um, I actually really don't know. This is probably adding to my heterosexuality, the fact that I don't know this. So I'm going to go with I don't have any idea because I really don't want to guess, and that's just me being honest. If I could have dinner with one of the following women, I would choose... Uh... Barbara Streisand, Madonna, Kim Cattrall, or Adriana Lima? Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know, actually. Probably Madonna. Just because I want to ask Madonna, like, what was going through your mother's head when she named you Madonna? That's about it, really, and then I just leave. All right, next question. I get a manicure two or three times a month. I have unruly cuticles. What the fuck? When I have an important meeting or event coming up in exchange for special favors with from my girlfriend, well, we can't answer. We can't even put that one there. Every time hell freezes over, <clears throat> manicure. All right, I can't. I can't. I've never had a manicure, guys. I can't even answer this. I'm gonna have to go with option D. You know, me being honest here. Like, God, if you answer like two or three times a month, and like you don't even need to take the gay test. It's just. Like, you're done. You could just exit and just say you're 100% gay. My favorite TV show is So You Think You Can Dance, Gossip Girl, Grey's Anatomy, or Family Guy. I don't like any of these shows. Fuck. Which one do I like the least? <clears throat> or the most? Out of all four of these. Hmm. So You Think You Can Dance, Gossip Girl, Grey's Anatomy, or Family Guy. Uh... Hmm. This is a tough one. I don't like Family Guy. I really don't. I just don't like the show. Uh, Grey's Anatomy, uh, Gossip Girl, So You Think You Can Dance. It's kind of a tie. I feel like the most gay answer is probably Gossip Girl because it's Gossip Girl or So You Think You Can Dance. But I'm going to go with Grey's Anatomy. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, this is, a, this is a bad question for me because I don't like any of these. Alright, next one. I buy my underwear online at Oregano's, anywhere that has a varied selection of cuts and colors in, ten, in packs of 10 at Costco. I don't think I bought new underwear in the past five years. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I bought underwear in the past 20 years of my life, and I'm only 14 years old. I don't actually wear underwear, guys. I, I'm against it. It's part of my religion. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to go with I don't think I bought new underwear in the past five years. That's the that's the truth right there. All right, let's see. Which of the following uh, is not a once popular boy band? Danity Kane, Take That, 98 Degrees, New Kids on the Block. Oh, man. My gayness inside me does not know the answer to this question. Hmm. I don't even know. I feel like New Kids on the Block is 100% a popular boy band. 98 Degrees, Take That, Danity Kane. I can't answer New Kids on the Block because that's, that's got to be a, a boy band. 98 Degrees, Take That. or this, I feel like I'm taking a standardized test right now. Like I'm, I'm narrowing out the options that I don't know, and I'm picking the ones that I think, I, that th I think might be right. <clears throat> You know what, 98 degrees, I feel, I feel, I, I'm feeling it, dude. I'm just feeling it. If I could travel back in time, I would go to Studio 54, the Moulin uh, Rouge, Rogue, Woodstock, Nirvana's Reading Festival performance. Wow. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people would say Woodstock. Nirvana's Reading Festival performance. I want to know what that is. I'm going to pick that just because I kind of want to know what that is. Reading festival performance. That sounds interesting. Uh, my girlfriend could not drag me to... Uh, let's see here. A woman's beach volleyball tournament, the uh, the county fair, a ballroom dancing competition, a share concert. Mm. <clears throat> uh, 
A women's beach volleyball tournament. I don't think I would ever go to that for reasons that I don't want to talk about. The county fair. Nah, I could go to the county fair. A ballroom dancing competition. Why not? Chair concert. Eh. I'm going to go with option A. <clears throat> I really don't like the beach. <clears throat> I refuse. I 100% refuse. <clears throat> if I uh, were at a karaoke bar, I would sing, I will survive, I'm too sexy, sweet Caroline, living on a prayer. Um, hmm. Living on a prayer, man. Yeah, I don't think so. Sweet Caroline, yeah, no. I will survive or I'm too sexy. That's a tough one right there. I feel like I'm too sexy is a pretty good karaoke song. I feel like I Will Survive is just way too overdone. I'm going to go with I'm Too Sexy on this one. I feel like that's the gay answer, but that's honestly the truth. Which of the Fog movies did not star Lisa Minnelli? Uh, yeah, I have no fucking clue. <clears throat> I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to just I'm gonna just literally close my eyes and pick an answer on this one. Which one did I pick? I'm clicking randomly. Okay, I guess New York, New York. All right, all right, boys, let's see how we did. This is it. This is the most official gay test in the world. If you guys don't know if you're gay or not, this is the place to go. So it's literally gaytest.com. All right, let's see. 47% gay. Uh, <clears throat> you're the kind of guy that likes chicks but takes a peek in the locker room as well, right? That's actually, you know what? That's 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 pretty reasonable, I think. I'm, I'm okay with this result, guys. 47%. That's a pretty good number right there. I'm I'm okay with this. I'm comfortable with this number. So, and I'm, honestly, I feel like this this sentence is actually it pretty accurately describes me. You're the kind of guy that likes chicks but takes a peek in the locker room as well, right? Yeah, that's that's that sounds about right. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching this. This has been some serious gameplay. Not really, but whatever. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to tweet out the video. Do all that YouTube junk that nobody really cares about and of course if you guys want feel free to subscribe thanks for watching guys more stuff coming soon